Hi folks, it's good to be with you. Uh, love to everybody out there. Um, I just want to talk about the textual criticism of the Quran. My name is Jason, and you can get me on jasonburnspreacher.com. You can get me on Twitter and Facebook. Just type in uh, Jason Burns Preacher, you'll get me on Twitter. Um, I'm going uh, away soon, and I've got to prepare for going away. And uh, I just uh, that's why I'm not going to preach in the last few days. I just want to prepare myself uh, for preaching some other places in in churches. Uh, like I'm preaching on Sunday in my home church and I'm preaching um, uh, some other places as well. So I've been preparing myself for that. So be before I continue my preparation for that, uh, I've got all my notes here um, concerning the Quran. And, uh, and 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 defending Christianity from Hyde Park. So I just want to uh, do a few um, few videos this morning, uh, and then get on with the day. Um, so I want to talk about textual criticism of the Quran, and. Um, This is a uh, Jay Smith's uh, Quran Critical Assessment 2006. So you can get this as PDF. Um, but some of the things he says in here are, are standard and uh, standard information that you can get anywhere reading the hadiths. So are the textual variants? When we're talking about textual variant, what we're saying is that. Um, the Muslims claim that the Quran has not changed. Uh, now, the Christian view is the Bible has not changed. The Bible is the Word of God. Now, the more manuscripts you have, we have like 5,500. The more you can verify the text that you have. And scholars say with the Bible that we have what was the original 99%. There's 1% which is like spelling mistakes, but they don't affect the message, they don't affect anything of the Bible. Uh, and so we can say the Bible's not changed, and we can say that God has preserved his word. Now with the Muslims and Islam, there's a lot of de deception going on. They, 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 number one, they don't want to do open textual criticism, because if they do, it will expose Islam. Number two, we can show categorically that the Quran has changed because there's been a lot of political interference of putting things in the bar, in the Quran and taking things out of the Quran. And um, it's quite shocking really the deception that Islam has been doing over the over the years. So the Quran has changed and the Quran, because it's changed, is clearly not the word of God. And I'm going to prove that to you today, and I hope Muslims take this on board with grace. Um, you might say, oh, this is Jay Smith's information. Well, we're going to get into a lot of information in a minute, a lot of information. Not just in Jay Smith, but Muslim uh, writers, etc. <coughs> so, some Quranic verses were lost. Many of the passages of the Quran that were set down were known by those who died on the day of Yama, Yamama, but they were not known by those who survived them, nor were they written down. Nor had Abu Bakr, Umar, or Uthman by the time collected the Quran, nor were they found with even one person after them. Ibn Abi Dawood in uh, Kitab al Mashaf, page 23. So it's saying that known by those who died on the day of Yama, but they were not known by those who survived them. So, means that there were verses lost. And uh, the Muslims will talk about hadith that is not a, a, a good hadith. Well, it's in Dawood. And uh, when Muslims don't like anything that attacks the Quran, they say it's not authentic hadith. It is reported that Ismail ibn Ibrahim 
from Ayyub, uh, from Nafi, and from Ibn Umar, who said, Let none of you say, I have acquired the whole of the Quran. How does he know what all of it, when much of the Quran has disappeared? Rather, let him say, I have acquired what has survived. That is in As uh, Suryuti, uh, 15 AD, Al Itak Fil Otum Al Quran, page 524. So here is somebody saying that parts, many parts of the Quran have been lost. Now again, the Muslims will say, well, this is not authentic hadith. Well, of course it's not because it, it doesn't agree with your, your agenda. Parts of the Quran have been forgotten. We used to recite a surah which resembled in length and severity to, to surah Barat. I have, however, forgotten it with the exception of this, which I remember out of it. If there were two valleys full of riches for the son of Adam, he would long for a child for a third valley, and nothing would fill the stomach of the son of Adam but dust. Sayyid Muslim, 875 AD, volume 2, uh, page 2, uh, 2, 2286, page 501. So a verse uh, being forgotten there. Uh, verse is cancelled. Uh, we used to read a verse of the Quran revealed in the connection, but later the verse was cancelled. It was conveyed to our people on behalf of the information that we have met our Lord and He is pleased with us and has made us pleased. Sadhu Bukhari, 870 AD, volume 5. 416 page 288 but later the verse was cancelled it says in the hadith while other verses are missing uh, Ali uh, Allah sent Muhammad and so Allah sent Muhammad saw with the truth and revealed the holy book to him and among what Allah revealed was the verse of Raja the storming of married persons male and female who committed adultery and we did recite this verse and understood and memorized it. Allah's apostle saw it, saw, did very did carry out the punishment of stoning, and so did we after him. I'm afraid after a long time has passed, somebody will say by Allah, we do not find the verse of uh, Rajam in Allah's book, and thus they will go astray by leaving an obligation which Allah has revealed. Sari Al Bukhari 870, volume 8. 817 page 539 there's some verses which have been overlooked uh, Kuzami Ibn Thibit said I see you have overlooked two verses which have not been written not written them they said which are they he replied I did directly Takiya automatic uh, Takiya automatically spontaneously from the messenger of Allah saw Surah 9 Ayah 128 there has come to you a messenger from Yourselves, it grieves him that you should perish. He is very concerned about you to the believers. He is kind and merciful to the end of the surah. Uthman said, I bear witness that these verses are from Allah. Ibn Abi Dawood, Kitab al Mashiv, page 11. Uh, so, that, so, you have overlooked two verses that have not written them. Some verses which have changed. Uh, Abu Yunus, Freedom of As Aisha, Mother of Believers, reported Aisha ordered men to transcribe the Holy Quran and asked me to let her know when I should arrive at the verse uh, Had of Alas Salati was Salatil uh, Wusta while Kumu uh, Lil Ali Quantilin, uh, chapter 2, verse 2, 3, 8. When I arrived at the verse, I informed her that she ordered, write it in this way. Hadu alas salati was salatil uh, wusta wa uh, salatil asri wa kumu ilali quantum. She added that she had heard it so from the Apostle of Allah, uh, may peace be upon him. That's in Imam Walek, Malik 7.9.5. So a verse was changed there. So that's in uh, J. Smith. You can get the PDF. Um, just type in uh, a critical assessment of the Quran, 2006 J. Smith uh, PDF. Now, again, the Muslims. What the Muslims will do will say, well, the Quran is the word of God because we know it's the word of God, 
because of chain of narration, because there are these people that can go right back to the time of Muhammad that memorized it and passed it on by memory and memory, and that's the def defense of the Quran. But in the chain of narration, uh, we have uh, Muhammad did not collect the Quran, but forgot parts and had seven different versions. Salih al Bukhari, Volume 6, 61, 556, Khan, Salih Bukhari, Volume 6, uh, 61, Number 513, Khan, uh, Sanud Abu Dawood, uh, Book 3, Number 10, 15, Hassan, Sayyid al Bukhari, Volume 6, Book 61, Number 514, Khan, Sayyid al Bukhari, Volume 6, 61, 509, Khan, uh, Sunan al Tirimithi, uh, 3103, uh, cridly. So Muhammad did not collect the Quran, forgot parts and had seven different versions. So how can you have a chain of narration, people memorizing the Quran and passing it on, when Muhammad forgot parts of the Quran? The Quran was collected and memorized by his companions, but they memorized it differently. Sari al-Bukhari, volume 6, uh, Book 6, number 468, Khan, Sayyid al-Bukhari, Volume 6, Book 60, 469, Khan, Sayyid al-Bukhari, uh, Book 4, number 17999, 1802, uh, Sayyid al-Bukhari, Volume 6, Book 61, 527. So, the Muslims will try to use the chain of narration and say the Quran has been passed on. When you show them textual variants, when you show them that the Quran has been lost, changed, they say no, it's been preserved by chain of narration. We just proved categorically from their own sources that they couldn't even memorize fully their own Quran and even Muhammad couldn't do that. So now um, I want to just look talk about um, some early Qurans. Um, In the Sana manuscript, uh, we have in chapter 48, verse 24, a variant reading. In other words, uh, it's not what the Quran is today. In Sana manuscript, it contains in chapter 8, verse 2, chapter 8 to 11, chapter 8, 41, 46, missing, and two verses we are looking for. Sana manuscript uh, contains in chapter 1, verse 7, chapter 2, Verse 16, chapter 7, verse 29, uh, chapter 7, 204, chapter 6, verse 17, um, chapter 26, verse 122, 156, chapter 41, 116, missing the two verses we are looking for. So, it contains those verses, but then there are verses that are missing. So the manuscript begins with 2265, a missing 448.2 and 55.16 missing the two verses we are looking for. Sana manuscript contains the last of 33, beginning of 34, last of 34, beginning of 35, uh, uh, chapter 52, verse 40, chapter 53, verse 25, chapter 53, verse 25, chapter 54, verse 1, missing the two verses we are looking for. So I could go on and on and on. Uh, this is a tablet of missing verses in the Quran in the Sana manuscript. So what, what that means is that when, when the Muslims have a Quran, if there are missing verses in the ancient text, in the most ancient text, they've got to do textual criticism. And the Muslims don't like to do textual criticism, but they have to do it. They have to get the manuscripts. So, so what you find is the Muslims will not do a Quran and, and, and say, right, we've used, say, the sign of manuscripts and put footnotes there. They don't do that. They're totally intellectually dishonest. So there are missing verses in some in ancient Qurans. Okay? So often the Muslims will say, oh, you have 5,000 ma manuscripts and, not, and they're not the same. Well, hello, it's the same with the Muslims. You've got manuscripts with missing verses in ancient manuscripts, okay? And I just proved that from the Sana manuscript. The 
So this paper is by Samuel Green. The different Arabic versions of the Quran. You can get a PDF of this. So you can get a PDF of Samuel Green's uh, different versions of the Quran. And in it, he looks at the Wash, the Kohan, the Al Bazi, the Caliph, the Al Duri, the Hafs. These are different Arabic Qurans. And he looks at them. And um, he noticed uh, in the Hafs and in the Wash comparison, the Arabic is not the same. Wahasa, wa, awaza. It's not the same, which means. And Ibrahim enjoined Wahaza on his sons. Uh, Quran, uh, chapter 2, what, 131. So it says, and Abraham enjoined, and then in the other Quran, in the um, in the wash that was the halves in the wash it says and Abraham instructed made wa comma awaza his sons chapter two verse one two one so one says enjoined one says instructed so they're not the same um, So this is a, a problem in the halves and uh, in the wash. Nagfir, we give mercy, chapter 2, 58. In the wash, Yughafa, he gives mercy, chapter 2, 57. So it says, we give mercy, he gives mercy, plural, and then singular. So they're not the same. We, he, are not the same. Ta Kuluna, uh, which is you say, chapter 2, 140, and Ya Kuluna, they say, chapter 2, 139. So you, they. Okay, now the you uh, might have some kind of Arabic plurality, I don't know, but. It says you, they. It's not the same. So in uh, Surah 2, 259, and Surah 2, 58, in the wash, yeah, uh, just to say that um, the wash number system is not exactly the same as the half. So uh, you have 258 is exact with 257. 2140 is exact with 2139. So they're not exact in their number system. Okay. So in the number system of uh, the halves, 2259, we will raise up. That In the wash is 2258, we shall revive. So we shall raise up. The other Quran is we shall revive, raise up, revive are not the same words. Alright, so you can read, um, I don't have to go on and on and on, but you can read Samuel Green's The Different Arabic Versions of the Quran by Samuel Green, PDF, you can get the PDF there. So that's textual variants in different Arabic Qurans, okay. So, so there we are. Um, now, here is a Muslim scholar. Uh, Muslim scholar is Dr. 
shit. We've, we've used two Christian scholars, so now we're going to use a Muslim scholar. Uh, the Muslim scholar um, is Dr. Uh, she has Salim and um, in here he talks about uh, these are some of the points that uh, he makes which I find very interesting why is not the Quran revealed to him all at once this is revealed the way we may strengthen your heart so the Quran, why was the Quran given in piecemeal the way it was? Um, he goes, its chronological revelation is of no significance. It was arranged in a new sequence by the Almighty. Once its initial revelation was over, the Almighty through Archangel Gabriel read it out of the Prophet a second time. And this second recital, temporary directives were revised or deleted permanently. So that, you know, that doesn't make sense. This is a Muslim scholar of, of critiquing him. And it doesn't make sense to what he's just said there that uh, it, was it was read twice to Muhammad and then it was critiqued and uh, edited. Uh, that just doesn't make sense. If God gives it, it should be perfect. He says, we used to compile the Quran from small scraps in the presence of the messenger. So, how do we know these small scraps were actually collected? It says, I asked Anas ibn Malik who collected the Quran at the time of the Prophet. He replied, four of all whom were Ansar ibn, ibn Kaab, Nodan ibn Jabal, Zayed ibn Thabit, al Abu Zayed. These collectors, when you look into their history, they all contradict each other in what they say about the collection. So this is coming, I'm critiquing a Muslim scholar here, uh, Dr. Saeed Salim. Uh, so I'm going into the history of how they say the Quran came to be and I'm seeing, as I look at the history, it just doesn't make sense. So here we have, the narrative which described that it was Abu Bakr who collected the Quran in one Musa and it was Uthman who, fearing the difference in reading the Quran, ordered to make official copies of it, contradict the Quran and the norms of established history, and therefore cannot be accepted. So this Muslim scholar is saying, look, uh, the Quran was burnt by Uthman, and a new Quran was made. So he's saying, no, this is not historical. But this Muslim scholar is trying to whitewash, trying to get rid of embarrassing information about Islam and the way the Qur'an was, was made. So, I, I could read, uh, so, I would encourage you to read this article, The Collection and Trans Transmission of the Qur'an, Article 1, 2 and 3, by Dr. Shi Hazad Salim, or Dr. Salim, and uh, read his articles, on the formation of the Quran and his PhD, you might agree with him, you might disagree with him, but when you look at the history of the Quran and the formation of the Quran, all the history contradicts what the Muslims are saying today. This guy is saying he sees it's embarrassing stuff, so he's trying to get rid of it and say no, no, all this is not really historical. But there is a lot of historical material in the Muslim. Hadiths, uh, Sari Bukhari and a guy called Muslim in the Hadiths that are very authoritative in Islam and yet they expose the Quran and show that the Quran was adopted political production. Now, this scholar, um, this scholar, Dr. Uh, Salim, uh, does a four part series on a critical evaluation of variations found in the Uthman copies. And what he does is he shows that there are textual variants in the Hadith. So if you look at the history of Islam, there are these different Qurans and he's acknowledging it. But he's saying, look, all these different verses that we see in all these Hadiths, well, they're not really historical. But it's embarrassing information. So like uh, 
if you look at uh, the Quran, uh, the ancient Quran, Kafa and Bazara, uh, Surah one three two verse two, it says it was recommended by Ibrahim, and you'll find that that it's either been edited or changed in the Quran. Um, if you look at um, Kafa and Bazara, ancient Qurans, uh, in Surah 109, you have those who took a mosque, and, and it says who have taken a mosque in ruins, so a different textual variant there. In uh, another ancient Quran, we have or appear, and then and to appear in the earth in Surah 2640. Uh, in the Kafa, uh, it's different from the Medina text, ancient text. It says, God knows, and it says, say, my Lord knows in Surah 421. So, two Qurans different again. Two ancient Qurans. The Basra and the Medina and Kafa. Uh, the, the Basra text, ancient text of the Quran, says God, 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 and the Medina and the Kafa, it says God to God to God, that's in Surah 23, verse 85, 87, 89. In the Medina and Basra text, it says, and the man gives his parents well, in the Kafa text, and the man gives his parents affection, in Surah 1546. In the Makkah and the Kafa text, it says to meet them, and the Medina and the Basra text, it says, do they only consider the hour to come to them suddenly? Uh, Surah 1847. And it's got pages and pages and pages of textual variants here. And he explains it away by saying the, that they're not inauthentic hadiths. But I'm afraid that will not wash. The fact of the matter is, you have ancient Quranic texts that are completely different completely different and uh, this Muslim scholar Dr. Salim is honest about it so you can go on Al Ma'rif uh, a website and you can go and look up that information so there we are I hope that's been a help to you So we used two Christian scholars and a Muslim scholar. We looked at the history of textual variants. Uh, we looked at the actual Arabic textual variants. And, you know, we looked at a Muslim scholar on the history of the Quran. And, uh, yeah, so we've, we've looked at a lot of material. You can go and get these PDFs. So there's a, a lot of material there for you to look at. So in conclusion, the Quran has not only changed, it's just been doctored politically. Uh, the Muslim scholars are not honest about this. And uh, the Muslims in the West are hiding all this information from you. They say that these uh, textual variants are just have seven different ways of pronouncing it. So, I mean, that's just, I mean, if you want gobbledygook, that's gobbledygook for you. I mean, it's just smoke and mirrors lying to you. And, uh, you know, I, I, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't take that information on, you know. I've looked at, we've looked at uh, the Santa manuscript that the, the, all the verses are not in there. Uh, so we've done a comprehensive review of the Quran. We've looked at chain of narration. Uh, we, we've done a, a basic analysis of the Muslim argument that the Quran has been preserved, and we've seen that that is completely deficient, and uh, it should make every Muslim rethink about the Quran. That it should make every Muslim question their apologies and try to get out of it by saying chain of narration or whatever. The facts of the matter is the Sana manuscript is missing verses. The fact of the matter is 
Muhammad couldn't even remember his own Quran. The fact of the matter is, there are ancient Qurans, uh, many ancient Qurans, which we've only looked at a couple of them, uh, some of your earliest manuscripts that have textual variants in. Uh, that's from a Muslim scholar. And then uh, we've looked at uh, the Arabic in the Wash and the Hafs, and we found that there were textual variants there. And we've only begun to scratch the surface. Only begun to scratch the surface. Look, it would take me six hours at least to go through all this material. Okay. So, the evidence is there for you, Muslims.